What's up guys, Billy here, and today we will be discussing some of the changes made to the DJI Mavic Pro in the latest firmware update. This update, version 01.03.1000, was pushed out on August 22nd, 2017. Here's a list of the changes implemented in this firmware update. You can pause the video to read over them, but now let's go over these in a bit more depth. First things first, image quality. This update seemed to be relatively light until I read the last bullet point, improved image quality. Now of course I had to test this out, so first is a video I shot on firmware version 0900, the 900 firmware. Purely for testing purposes, I am shooting in well lit conditions inside so that my results can be more accurate. It also allows me to replicate the same exact shot. Moving on, here's a video shot on the newest firmware version 1000, 1000. You might think I'm crazy for saying this, but I definitely see a change in the video quality. The footage on the newest update doesn't seem any more crisp, but the biggest change is the colors and overall brightness of the image. Both of these clips were shot on the same exact settings, and I feel like with the newest update, everything is overall more bright. One of the biggest problems that I had with the Mavic is the fact that everything in the footage was way too dark. Because of this, I would usually bump the exposure level up to compensate, which sometimes led to washed out pictures and videos. Something else that I've noticed with the footage shot on old Mavic firmware is this really annoying orange tint. I always felt as though the white balance was out of whack. All in all, the newest Mavic update definitely will make your footage look better. Aside from the bump to the image quality, there's a couple of other bugs that were fixed and also something added for the propeller cages where it limited the speed that you could ascend and descend. Uh, so anyway, with these bug fixes, two of them actually affected me quite frequently. First of all was the camera basically resetting in the middle of recording a video. So when I was taking these long sweeping shots with my Mavic, uh, it would totally reset and I would have to restart the shot all over again. It was super annoying. Uh, and the next bug that was actually affecting me was the camera drifting after the initial setup when you start up your Mavic. So actually in this clip that I recorded, the testing clip before I upgraded the firmware, you notice that the camera was just moving for no reason. Now I had this problem with the Phantom 4 Pro as well, but it definitely wasn't as bad as with the Mavic, uh, so it's definitely good that they fixed this up. Anyway, that does it for this short video on the Mavic's new firmware update. That improved image quality is definitely a plus. I'm going to have to try it out a little bit more when I go outside, and that'll be a whole separate video. But for now, I just wanted to do a quick look at some of the differences or some of the updates in this newest Mavic firmware. But guys, that's going to do it for me today. Hopefully you enjoyed, and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.